Nation. Yep. All right, uh, for former presidential candidate and governor of Arkansas, Mike Huckabee, has a new TV show that debuts this weekend. It's airing on TBN, that's the Trinity Broadcasting Network. His first guest on the new show is President Donald Trump. Mike Huckabee joins us live now via satellite. Good morning. Good morning, Alexis. Great to be with you today. Well, good to have you here. So let's just talk about the new show. It launches this weekend. What can people expect from it? Well, it'll be very similar to what I did on the Fox News Channel for six and a half years, but with a couple of big differences. One, we're going to have a lot more music and entertainment because the show is based in Nashville, and you just can't come to Nashville and not showcase some of the amazing talent and artistry that is here. Yeah. And I think in addition to that, we're going to see a lot more of civil conversation and less of the political ping pong where two sides from the horizontal left and right just attack each other and talk over each other. I want us to focus more on the vertical. Mm -hmm. What's good, what's bad, what makes this country go up, what makes it go down. I think people are going to enjoy it. It's a lot of variety. We're going to have comedy, features on people who are doing great things for America. So it'll inform, I think it'll encourage, and it will entertain. Yeah, you, I want to touch on that because you mentioned, you know, instead of talking heads and talking over each other, what do you really want to accomplish with this show? What do you hope people get out of it? I hope they understand the issues better. We're not going to try to think for them. They can do that for themselves. But I want them to understand the terms that get thrown out by politicians with an assumption that everybody swims in that water. When most people, the water they're swimming in is just to try to keep their head above it so that they can pay the rent and put food on the table. Uh, they don't have time to read the Wall Street Journal cover to cover every day. So we're going to try to bring people to the show that tell them the why rather than just the what. And of course, we'll have great newsmakers. As, as you mentioned, we start the show with the president. It'll be the first uh, sit-down interview with the president since this incredible week we've gone through. And uh, I think it's going to be very informative. And I think he's going to be relaxed. I, I've known him for a long time, so it's not going to be a, uh, a time where he's all tense. I think it's going to be a very interesting interview to watch for sure. Yeah, well, let's talk about your first guest. You mentioned you've known him for a long time. This has been quite a week. He's dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Maria and the response there. Also, uh, the tragic events in Las Vegas with the mass shooting there. Will you be critical of the president? And what do you hope to get out of that conversation? Well, Alexis, it would be hard to be critical of what he's done this week. I think he uh, has done exactly what a president should do. He didn't just, uh, you know, speak from the Rose Garden. He went to Puerto Rico. And he didn't just go alone. He took the First Lady. He took uh, many of his cabinet members and key administrative officials to say, we're here. Uh, and I think it was able to showcase the extent to which the federal government is assisting the governor of Puerto Rico and the people locally. Uh, it's an apocalyptic situation they face. And even in the midst of the Las Vegas shooting, it was important for him to be there so that people don't forget what the folks of Puerto Rico are going through. And then I think he's going to Las Vegas today in the role of consoler in chief. He'll visit a hospital. He'll talk to people. Mm -hmm. He'll do it privately and quietly. That's going to be strong. Yeah. Well, you did have a run for president, so we've got to ask, do you plan to throw your name in the hat again uh, in 2020? I'm sorry, I missed... I was just asking, you, you, you at one point ran for president. Do you have any uh, yes. intentions of running again? Alexis, I can tell you some things with some certainty, and with this, I can say absolutely not. Not? I'm done with running for politics, no. I mean, there, there comes a point you can only mortgage your home and raid your retirement fund so many times to pay off campaign debt, and uh, I think there's a time to move on. Uh, we did get a Huckabee in the White House. Yes. Wasn't the one I thought, but my daughter is there, so you know what? Wasn't all bad. Yeah, and what do you think of that? Your daughter's in the White House. We see her face often as the press secretary. Um, are you proud? Or what, what else are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, I'm as objective about my daughter as the New York Times is about the president. So, yes, I think she's doing a terrific job, and I'm incredibly proud of her. She doesn't escalate the tension in that already tense room, and I think that's a real tribute to her evenness. Uh, she respects the people who are there as the press, and she understands they have a job to do. But she also 
has a job to do, and that's to protect the president and to articulate his position and his message. And I obviously think she does that quite well. All right. Well, Mike Huckabee, uh, we thank you for your time this morning, and we can people can see that show on TBN this Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Eastern time. Best of luck with that show. Thanks, Alexis. Interesting. Right. He said it wasn't what they expected that Huckabee in the White House, right. but he's proud of it anyway. And so, yeah. so his name made it there. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs>